Well, good morning. Hey, y'all. Um, I know we're almost living on borrowed time now with the dahlias because there's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, and um, I'll pick a lot before. Look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> that came from um, Freilich Farms. Those These dahlias right here, aren't they gorgeous? Just so pretty. This is gets perfection again. And y'all, it just hangs on and on and on. And here is one that's finally, finally blooming this morning. It's Spitfire. That's the first bloom of the season. So, um, it'll probably get picked today. But look at that. Look at that. How beautiful. Sierra Glow. Just beautiful. I'm not... Maybe there's a close-up of that one, too. Gosh. So pretty. Okay, let's look right here right quick. Miss Huff in the background there. <laughs> Blooming away. And the trees up there, see them turning. Gosh, I love Georgia in the fall. Love it. And see how beautiful today is my one and only granddaughter's 10th birthday gosh i'm glad i have her i'm glad to have a girl in the family after six boys so there's all these beautiful dahlias there's the pineapple sage it'll it'll withstand uh, the rain won't bother it but y'all i had a vision of looking like what I see with the flower farmers when they're growing but but you know they sell things <laughs> I do not I enjoy them I share them with y'all but I would say we're at the peak today probably is the peak and I'm amazed I'm just I'm amazed there's probably more than more than a hundred blooms out here today. Wow. Hard work does pay off. There's Miss Lily. <laughs> Some of them are, are past. See, they're starting to fall there, but I've left them. And the, um, here, or the chrysanthemums coming on so you know seasons do they do change they do change so thankful for this yard and for all these flowers I hope y'all are enjoying them it's I've just looked at them and looked at them trying to soak them in because I know the time is short weeks and weeks months i was uh, telling brian last week i mean the other day i started with these picking out and making sure i was able to get the tubers in january some maybe even in december so these beds the these flowers this is 10 months in the making And they're kind of worth it, don't you think? Gosh, they're pretty. So, hopefully um, I'll get them all picked. Everything that's not past its prime, I'll pick and take in the house and make a table setting. I'll arrange them for the table. So I just wanted to share with y'all. This is Mona from Winter Past.